David. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Yes, and good afternoon to all those people watching on the live stream and most especially watching on the replay. We'll be talking about this uh, featured short film called The Dust in Your Place about a comic strip artist drama story. And uh, we're talking to director David Olson. Uh, my name is Antonius, founder of our Awesome Planet. And check out uh, The Dust in Your Place in Cinemalaya 2021. All right. All right, David, maybe can you give us a background about yourself and introduce this uh, short film uh, for us and why should people watch it? Okay, so a quick background about me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My name is David. I'm a filmmaker based in Manila, Philippines. Um, I started out making videos about 10 years ago, right after high school. And it's always been a dream of mine since I was... Oh God, since I started watching movies and I little did I know uh, eventually it would become what I would do for a living. And so I'm purely self-taught. I started teaching myself when I was about like 13, 14 years old, started out doing visual effects and then started working as an editor for companies here and for companies in the U.S., and yeah, eventually grew, started directing about three, four years ago, and then started a company, a production company with a couple of people called Cutaway Productions. And we created The Dust in Your Place, which is a story following two people. Uh, follow, the first character is Rick, played by Gu, Gu, Boo Gabonada. And the second character is Claire, played by Shea Mog. So the character of Rick is a comic book a comic strip writer, and Shay plays Claire, who is a comic strip illustrator. And the film starts off with Claire seeing Rick and his girlfriend have a fight while she is at his house for work. And so the film starts right after that. And after that, she decides to talk to him about it because she notices a strange pattern that happens with all of his relationships, his previous relationships, his current relationship. And it's a conversation she's been meaning to have with him for years now, ever since they've been friends. And from there, it kind of turns into this whole discussion about, you know, his relationships, her lack of relationships, um, societal norms and the like. And during the conversation, they both kind of realize not only a bunch of new things about each other, but they also realize that their friendship and their career together might be at stake. And so, yeah, that's the premise of The Dust in Your Place. Okay, uh, let's watch the trailer. Yeah? Eight years. May nangyari ba sa atin? Eight years. Ang tagal na natin itong ginagawa. Masaya na tayong gumagawa ng comics. Alam ko yan. Yun na nga yun eh. Ito dapat walang pinagsisilosan si Lisa. <laughs> Nakikita kasi ni Lisa may kausap kang ibang babae. Ako. Tama nga. Psycho ka nga. Alright. So why is it called dust, The Dust in Your Place? Well, the title is pretty interesting. So we've had a couple of screenings for like our friends and close friends. And they all had different interpretations of the title. So I have my own interpretation of it, but I'd rather not give it out because I would like to see the reactions after seeing the film and then kind of relating it to the title. But everyone has come up with their own interpretation so far. So that's kind of been the most fun thing for me, just seeing the different reactions. Uh -huh. And uh, how is this different? I, I know you do like commercial work also and other type of video. How is this short film genre different from all the other videos you're doing well it's a lot more fun because i really come from a, uh, a film background and i really really love film especially film narratives so with short films like this you get to express your creativity in so many different ways and also you're you're not really limited by anything except with what you have and the people you have around you and so it's a really creative open space for you to do what you want visually and artistically and just 
you know, with the right people around you, it, it will come out really good. Oh, oh nice. Um, so during the, I guess this film is uh, shot during the pandemic. How was it? Uh, what was your biggest challenge uh, doing this film? Well, the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, well, as always with all the shoots I go on, we always have to make sure everyone is swab tested. We make sure we follow the shooting regulations and guidelines. Um, so the biggest challenge was just getting everyone to one place, testing everybody, and then making sure, you know, thank God nobody tested positive, and then making sure we could fit in everything into one sh one twelve hour shooting day. So the entirety of this film was uh, planned, shot, and edited in about five or six days, because me and my producers only saw the posting by Cinemalaya about a week before uh, <laughs> submission like date. So we were, so basically what happened was we were in one of my, pro my producer's house in his garage, uh, just hanging out late at night because it was locked down. We couldn't really go out. So we just hung out together and yeah, we were, I was scrolling through Facebook and I says, Oh wait, Cinemalaya is accepting submissions and uh, short film category. And it's like, Oh no way. The submission date is like one week away. And then right there and then it was like, <clears throat> excuse me, about midnight. And we were like, made a decision. Okay, we're going to make it. Let's make it. Let's start right now. And luckily, we've been sitting on a script um, for a while now by Joe Mantonio, uh, who is a Palanca award-winning writer. And he's given us this script to do. And we had no use for it yet until we saw the Facebook post by Cinemalaya. And we we're like, okay, yeah, let's do it. So right then and there, we began calling people, we began calling our camera crew, sound, uh, started preliminary casting for actors. And yeah, it was a uh, whirlwind five, six days of no sleep. And <laughs> yeah, it was quite the experience, but it was <clears throat> really a lot of us working overtime and really working hard to get it done. And we did, oh, which is yeah. something I'm really happy about. Yeah, he, uh, how was it? Uh, was it hard getting the actors and actresses to commit to that five day shoot in a pandemic? Um, un thankfully not. So we auditioned about, we had an audition morning. We didn't have enough time for an audition day. So we had an audition morning uh, about, <laughs> I think it was like a day before the shoot, honestly. And then my executive producer, Warren Carmen, um, he knew uh, our actress, Shay, from when they were kids. And they said, oh, I think she'd be perfect for it. So we got on a Zoom with her. And we already had someone in the, else in mind for the role of Rick. And then last minute, uh, turns out he couldn't do it. And then randomly, Shay messaged uh, Warren saying, oh, if you ever need a guy for a role, I have someone. And it turns out to be her boyfriend, who was Boo. So uh, in yeah. reality, the, our two actors are a real life couple. Uh huh. Okay. And we got on a Zoom with them the morning before the shoot. Uh, I made them read through a couple of bits of the script. They nailed it, and you know we were like, "Welcome aboard the shoots tomorrow." And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very arduous casting process, to be honest. It was really not like anything I was used to, especially not only is it hard over Zoom. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you don't really get to interact with people as you normally would. But it's also a, like a day before the shoot. So if we, they didn't do it right or, you know, they didn't fit the role, you know, I don't know oh, what we would have done. So it was, yeah, we got, we got, we really lucked out with them. And they're an amazing uh, tandem of actors. Uh -oh. um, can you describe when you... You know, what was your reaction when you realized you were one of the 13 finalists out of 250 and then you did it last minute? What did you guys... Uh, I got... Uh, your reaction? Yeah. I got... I, I messaged... Um, I messaged my producers and to get on this call right now. And because it was, this is really an important thing for us because we made this specifically for Cinemalaya. It wasn't like a film we created before. And then, you know, we released to a bunch of different festivals. This one was we made it specifically for Cinemalaya. So when I got the email, I, 
I literally jumped out of my chair, called the boys and said, okay, oh my God, guys, we got in. Then we all were on Zoom for about like half an hour, just like talking excitedly about it, you know, and how cool it was that we got in. So I had no idea then that there were like 250 submissions. I had no idea. And then to find out that only 13 were picked out of 250 was something special. Ah, wow. Uh, really meant to be. Congratulations. So, oh, yes. So, thank you so much. Galing, uh, but um, maybe some... Um, can you advise? Uh, I know a lot of people wanted to be a filmmaker also. And maybe, you know, explore that career during this pandemic and lockdowns. Any advice for those, you know, starting to get into this? And maybe for those people who wanted to get into Cinemalaya also in the future, uh, any advice for them? Uh, just get it done, man. You know, people are always uh, limit themselves to what they have or their experience and all of that. But when it comes down to it, um, if you really love film, you can create something good. I, I think it was like Tarantino who said that. And, you know, it's so easy nowadays because, you know, the best, you know, you the best camera is the one in your pocket. You can shoot anything off your phone nowadays just for a start. Everyone has a laptop. You can even edit on your phone nowadays or your computer and just put it out there. It doesn't have to be, and from what I've learned, it's like it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around. But you just got to get the first one out of the way and then it will just keep going and going and going. But you also got to gotta stick to it because from what I remember early on, there was like a lot of sleepless nights where you kind of like rethink your whole life and wonder like you know is this really worth it like is this really what i want is this really gonna work in this country or in this industry but i think it's yeah it's a lot of patience and a lot of confidence in yourself that you're creative enough to get it done yeah and um usually when you create a film like this um does it really have to start with a script or just maybe a big story idea um how does it work for you um, luckily enough for the Dustin Place, we were given an amazing script by Joe Montonio, but for different, for mo at least in, in my experience, it always starts with like a little concept or a little idea, or it could be something as small as just like a, a still image from what you want to make. For example, um, I see two characters talking and I picture the environment they're in. I picture what they're dressed as, what they look like, and I picture maybe one line from that scene. And then from that, you can kind of build up on it and, and you know, eventually you can have a full script. Wow. It all starts from like, it just starts from one idea. It really, mm -hmm. it really does. And you yeah. just build from it from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where did, uh, where's the location shoot of uh, this film? This, uh, if you notice in the trailer, it looks like a house, but that's wow. actually a closed down bar in Makati. <laughs> that we that we retrofitted to look like a house, a kitchen, uh, a roof deck, a living room, and you know, shout out to uh, Katrish Aristaki, our production designer, and her team for just doing. And this was on like one day's notice, I think, too. Uh, we had like an, an uh, we had an ocular the afternoon uh, before the shoot. So right after right after we did casting in the morning, I rushed over to Makati. We met my DOP and then met our PD and then we went through the place real quick and then kind of just like got our angles, got, okay, we're going to do this, 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 and then went home, slept, came back 5 a.m. in the morning the next day, set everything up. And yeah, it was, uh, it was a great experience. Honestly, it was, it was one of the tightest deadlines I've ever had to work with personally, but the, the output was something special to be sure. Wow! Congratulations. Uh, I'm uh, thank you so much. Also, and uh, <laughs> I could appreciate <laughs> how you guys were able to deliver this with quality and get into the finalists. Maybe can you just invite them um, to watch this during a uh, Cinemalaya and invite them to watch your show? Yeah, um, Cinemalaya is going to be running from August 5th to September 6th. Uh, you can get your tickets at ktx.com. Um, I think Cinemalaya is planning um, a drive-in cinema that will probably announce that a little bit later. But for now, you can get your tickets online um, starting August 5th. And yeah, hope to see you guys there. There's a lot right. of amazing films out there. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, awesome meeting you um, uh, during this live stream. And congratulations and good luck. With the thank you so much. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. Appreciate it.